Hi everybody, my name is Dmitry and today I'm going to show you the building process used in my game. First, you have to select a command module. This is the key component of your ship. These square plates on each part are connection nodes. You use them to connect parts with joints. I will be building very fast moving and agile ship with a weapon system based on turrets. I'm gonna start by adding some turrets around the ship and I will point them at the same direction. This system allows us to build symmetrical ships which improves your weight distribution, which is crucial to maneuvering and handling of your ships. As you can see in this video, parts can be rotated to minimum of 45 degrees, but for this type of connection it should be 90 degrees. I changed it on purpose in order to show you the flexibility of the system. Also, I was able to prevent parts from overlapping. Now I'm adding two power generators which converts fuel from fuel tanks into electrical power for my system and also produces sea fuel that is used by the thrusters. Now I'm adding two fuel tanks. It is wise to add a lot of small tanks all around your ship so you won't get left fuelless if one of your fuel tanks got hit. Now I'm adding couple connection beams so I will have place where to put my thrusters. In this game forces are only applied to thrusters, so the shield movement is the result of all the forces that are being applied to all the thrusters. So you need to put enough thrusters to rotate in any direction or to move in any direction. Another very interesting feature that this ship design system brings is that each ship now has a very complex and detailed collision system and this gives you a lot of options. You can destroy all the fuel tanks or you can destroy all the power generators or you can start destroying your opponent's thrusters and leaving him immobilized and making him an easy target. Armor plates is a very interesting family of parts. They consist of square tiles and their main role is to increase your hull's armor. Using armor plates you can protect your fuel tanks, power generators or shield generators. You obviously can't cover thrusters with armor plates. I will place a shield generator in the center of the ship, even though it's not a very big shield generator and it won't create a high level of protection, it will give me enough time to do something if I get ambushed. Couple more parts will make my ship a little more rigid. Now I'm covering a shield generator with an armor plate on the top, so it won't get hit. As you can see, I have this big hole in the rear of my ship, so I'm going to cover it. Now the only thing that is left is to add a whole bunch of thrusters 
around my ship. There will be a limitation for how much thrusters you can add per ship, but don't worry, you will be able to add a lot of them. Okay, this ship is ready to go. I hope this wasn't too boring and you watched it to the end. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Check out my website. Bye.